Barbara again. Right, now we're going to make um, an Easter door wreath. So starting with a moss base like this. Um, I, I have demonstrated that before, so I'm hoping you all remember how to do that. But if not, you can always give me a ring. We can sell all this, we can sell the moss, the wreath frames. This is the contorted willow again that I've had in the garden. So you can do this yourself. You can ch get twigs from, I'm sure if you're going on walks and things like that, we, we live on a farm and there's so many people walking around now, you know, so you can just look out for things that you can put into a wreath. And all I'm doing is bobbing, wearing that round like that. This is some ivy. Oh, I'm just gonna put a bit more of the lovely green moss, the flat moss on. This looks lovely, just in between, just, just random. I think that the, the scruffier they are, the nicer they are. They just look so natural. Then I've got this lovely good piece of ivy that I got. Now I'm gonna use that as the trail a bit that's gonna all trail down. I'll just show you, I'll lift it up in a minute. So what I'm doing, I'm binding all these twigs on so they don't fall. You've got to pull it quite tight or else things will fall out. So that's what I'm going to, the lovely cascading ivy. I'm going to keep it quite, I'm not going to pack it with stuff because I think it looks nicer when it's all the mosses and all the natural things. So we're going to get a bit more of the contorted willow. Got to watch this, especially if you've got contact lenses in like me, you might get your contact lens on the end of a twig. So I'm just bringing that round. We were going to do, film this outside at home on the farm, but um, I believe it's going to rain. It's not quite chilly, so I think our next demonstration will be outside because hopefully the weather will be a bit better. Don't forget the clocks are losing hour this week. The clocks go forward. Lift it up in a minute so you can see what I'm doing. So that's the sort of thing that we're doing. Bring it around a bit more and a bit, a bit more of this lovely greeny moss just in between just to give it a different texture so you've got lovely twigs and the lovely shininess of the ivy so we're just going to go carry on around like that we'll just stop filming for a minute and then i'll carry on in a moment Right, so now I've got that far with it where I've put the ivy on and I've put all the contorted willow, I've banged it all on. So now I'm going to make a bow for the top. That's one of the eggs that's just gone on the floor. So I'm just making a bow. And I've gone for this like natural kind of look because that's what I want to make a really rusticy look. So then I've just got it, gathered it in the middle. Now I'm going to make this, this tying point, which is like that, going through. We are going to be doing, hopefully in the summer, uh, when we go home on the farm, we're going to do some classes like this, making all these beautiful pieces. Because um, when we went away skiing in Austria, um, Easter is really big and it, everybody has um, a lovely wreath on the door at Easter and I think it looks really nice. So I think we should be doing more of this here. I'm just gonna, that's just going to trail loosely round the wreath and that'll trail down. So that's my lovely trailing bit that's going to hang down the door. Really all lovely ivy. And then all I'm going to do now, I've just got some little Easter eggs and I'm just going to glue these. You've got to watch this because it's a hot glue gun this, so often I've burnt my fingers doing this. So I'm just going to dot them around, around the wreath. You just have to hold it on for a couple of minutes just so it, it sticks properly. I've got this little, um, I got this off of plants I think from last year and I saved it. So I'm going to pop that in there. So it's all about Easter eggs and hens and things like that. So I'll just glue that there. I can't just hold it up at the moment because until the glue sets, I don't want it to uh, drop on the floor. So then you have to put quite a generous amount of glue on. I do them different ways. I do some flats, I'll do some stuck up. And I've got another 
and those chicken things and now I can't find it. Not to worry. I'll put some of these little fluffy chicks on now. You can literally put whatever you want on it. It doesn't have to be this, you can put corns, you can put all sorts of little things, but I'm trying to make it look a little bit Easter eggs if there's little chickens peeping out. And then I think we'll have these. Turquoise in with the gold, the gold on here. So lots of glue on it to make it stick. That sort of thing. I like them just nestled in between all the twigs and the ivy. You can put it like as full or as little as you want on it. I'm just going to put another one to match that one over at this end. Or you could just have him dangling even. But basically that's that's it. With all the like Easter egg chicks and I'm just going to put a few more little chicks on I think. Just going with the little feet and just dot them about. Oh, it's jumping out of its nest. It's literally dotting them about. So cute. So really, you don't have to go to a great lot of expense. You know, you can buy um, any of the moss and the reeds from your local florist. It, us preferably <laughs> but if you're not near us you know just go into your local well you'll have to ring them and order it obviously you can't go into the shop at the moment because we're still in lockdown but that's basically what it is and if you want any of these pieces i can get you these out of my garden i can get you some ivy we sell the wreath frames the moss so why not have a go it's great it's great to do with the kids uh, it keeps them entertained for a little while and it'll look lovely on your door for Easter.